Did you know you have cartilage between every bone in your body? It's what helps you move. Ouch. And now to our lab. But this time we've hidden it in a top secret location. So secret that even Zand doesn't know where it is. Wow! It's time for some amazing experiments. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, we're investigating the grisly stuff in your joints. Chris, what are you doing? I'm measuring how tall you are. But I can tell you exactly how tall I am. I'm six foot or 183 centimetres exactly. Well, you might have shrunk. Shrunk? I've not shrunk. Well, you could be wrong there. We can all shrink a little bit each day due to the stuff in between our bones called cartilage. The cartilage discs in between the bones of your spine get pressed down as you stand up all day. So you might end up a centimetre shorter at the end of the day than when you woke up in the morning. Don't worry, though, because at night, when you're asleep, the discs in your spine expand again and you grow. Well, that is a relief. You could actually try this at home. Try measuring yourself first thing in the morning and last thing at night and let us know how you get on. You have around 360 joints and there's cartilage in most of them. But what does it actually do? Well, take a look at this. What I've got here is a real knee joint from a pig and it looks a lot like a human knee joint. Come closer and get a really good look. This is what cartilage looks like. It's packed on the surfaces of the joint and it acts a bit like a lubricant. It keeps the bones moving smoothly. Without this super slippy cartilage, it would be a lot harder for your joints to move freely. So with the help of cartilage, we can move our knees and hips and other joints as freely as we like. But cartilage isn't just in your joints. It's also what gives your nose and ears shape and makes them rubbery. I think we can let go now. Now, even though you can bend cartilage without breaking it, you can still damage it and you can even kill it if the blood supply is cut off. You know, it'd be good to be able to show this somehow, wouldn't it? What we need for that is a prop. Where are we going to get a prop? Prop, prop, prop. What about in the cupboard? Of everything? Yes, the cupboard of everything. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Got one! This is Alex Corbisiero, England rugby prop. That's the position he plays. Get it? Well, it's very good that you're here, Alex, because I think you have an interesting thing about the cartilage in your ears. Yes, I have something they call cauliflower ear, which comes from playing rugby, specifically around the scrum, where the big guys get down and they push really hard against each other and that causes rubbing and crushing on the ear and gradually they get a bit thicker and thicker and start to look like a cauliflower and that's why we call it cauliflower ear. If we compare Zahn's ear to Alex's, we can see that Zahn's is thin and hollow, but Alex's ear is a different shape and has a big, thick bit. And that's where the membrane that covers his cartilage, that supplies it with blood and nutrients, has been rubbed off in the scrum. The cartilage underneath it died and got replaced by thick, fibrous scar tissue. You don't need to worry if you play rugby. Cauliflower ear can be prevented by taping your ears back or wearing a special rugby helmet. I uh, probably should have done that, but... Uh... I'm happy with my ears still, and uh, my mum still thinks I'm pretty. Exactly, Mrs Corbisiero, and so do we. Now, um, listen, this is a bit awkward, cos we're, we're actually done with Alex now, but I don't, I don't know how to politely ask him to leave. You know what rugby players like? Oh, yeah. Rugby balls. Alex? <laughs> well, that did the trick. So, we've seen damaged cartilage and we've seen healthy cartilage inside our body, which acts like a lubricant, helping our joints move smoothly. But what would happen to our bodies if we didn't have any cartilage at all? Well, get ready to find out, Zahn, because you and I are competing in the Cartilage Lab Olympics. I will be playing for Team Cartilage. And I will be playing for... Wait, who am I playing for? You will be playing for Team No Cartilage. So, Zond, you're going to be wearing a very special outfit. Am I? You are going to be wearing a suit of armour. This armour will restrict Zond's movement and make him really stiff, which is what it would be like to have no cartilage. Well, at least it's the best I could do. Event number one, Ye Olde Limbo. Let battle commence. Battle commence! The cartilage between the vertebrae in my spine allows it to be super bendy, resulting in this fine limbo action. Well, you would say that. Whatever. Can you compete? No. Zahn's armour is forcing his joints to be stiff. 
just like they would be if he had no cartilage. So he's uncomfortable and clunky. What a donkey. And event number two, ye oldie basketball. Just look at my freely moving limbs. It's a speedy slam dunk. You are such a show-off. Right, move over. My go. I've got this. If I can just... Zond is slow and stiff as a board. With no cartilage, he can't even bend his knees, and he struggles to get the ball. Off with his head, I say. How did I do? It was a close run, thing, Zond. But the final score was 2-0 to me. So, we've shown you that you have cartilage all over your body and you can feel it in your nose and ears. And we've shown you that without cartilage, your body would be slow, uncomfortable and stiff. Right, Chris, that was fun, but this is no time for games. There are damsels in distress and I must hurry to rescue them. 